Put on your thinking caps because this week we're on an expedition to town and country to experience the weird science of Myzeum. Well, my, my, I made it to Myzeum. Thank you for coming to Myzeum. <laughs> you're Jeff. You're welcome Jesse, here. how y'all doing? Walking in here, I just see smiles on kids' faces. That's our goal. Tell me why this place is so special. We strive to have fun, unique, and highly interactive exhibits that you won't find at other places in St. Louis. Jesse was the inspiration for Myzeum, and it all started when she began being invited to birthday parties around town. I just didn't care for the venues. I thought we could do better. It wasn't comfortable. There wasn't anything interesting for the adults to do, and the kids enjoyed it. But over time, it seemed to get a little tiring for them. Yeah. So we wanted to have things that were unique and with a lot of variety. From all of the other, you know, children's related places in St. Louis, I would have to say that I see kids having the most fun here. And I'm not biased, but... Can we take a look? Sure. Yeah. All right. What do we have here? This wall uses your shadow to interact with it. So there's actually two programs this wall has. This is Falling Sand and the other is mercury bubbles and they rotate. So it's really great to see kids standing here holding these noodles, <laughs> the whole width of the wall, um, building great big huge sand mounds basically. Oh, okay, so you can actually see it piling up. Oh yeah, and if, you, and if you hold it here long enough, it'll create color on the screen also that you can wipe away with your hand. Wow. The next thing I would say is these vertical wind tubes and kids love this because they can put balloons in and they fly up and just keep on doing it and see how different things fly. We have scarves and other things to see how it works. The air cannon, this one points up at the ceiling and you pull back on the bladder mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can hit the different items toward the ceiling. Horizontal cannon there, you stack up the cups, pull back on the bladder and the cups fall down. <laughs> like that? And kids love that, yeah. <laughs> what would you say is, you know, the inspiration. I think it's a sciencey yeah. kind of inspiration. Things that kids can do themselves. I like to make things large. The science behind it, the interactivity behind it. Mm -hmm. We're always looking for new things, fun things to put in my museum, and things have changed over time. There's very few things that we've removed because people enjoy what we have here. And here we have a thermal imaging camera, so you can see the heat of your body. And it's so sensitive that you can see footprints in the carpet. How close do we get before it starts to pick us up? That's us. That's us right here? Yeah. What's the most exciting thing that you see? Oh my gosh, I think it's the first moment when they first walk in the door. They're kind of looking around, you know, we have lots of different colors, different shapes, things to look at just from that first moment of walking in the door and their reaction is usually just complete awe. I mean, looking around, kind of seeing all there is to explore, and then, you know, when it's time to get past that desk, once everyone's checked in and they get to go play, I mean, they just take off. And there's so many things to see, so I think that's the, the best part of seeing the kiddos come in. This is another favorite also. Okay. This is called the seaweed swamp. The seaweed swamp, mm -hmm. they, they look like swimming noodles. They essentially are. <laughs> that were made to our specifications. Okay. And um, it's really a maze without walls. And there's about 3,000 noodles in this room. Whoa. Ta-da. There Woo. is. Daylight. <laughs> we made it. We made it. What do parents do when they're here, Jesse? Oh my gosh, parents are getting involved all the time. I mean, I see so many parents going down our slide over there, you know, get involved building stuff with their kids, which personally I think is much more fun to see than just kind of sitting idly by and watching the kids play themselves. But it's always fun to see parents get involved. Yeah, do you almost see kind of going through your mind like, wow, I wish I could have had something like this when I was a kid. Oh, Y'all yeah, see that on their faces? All the time. Mm -hmm. yep. They might be some future doctors in here, maybe some future archaeologists. You never know. You never know. Have you seen some inspiration for kids when they've been through here? I have. I have. And I think about the people that we've impacted over the years. I mean, over a, over a decade, I just wonder what 
different choices people have made because they've been here. How much fun do you have here? So much. I mean, I've started working here now for the last few years, and even going from just a bystander to an employee, I still have fun on a daily basis, whether that's between my coworkers who I love and also just kind of hanging out throughout the space and doing birthday parties. It's a really good time all around. This is our shadow room. You can actually draw on the walls with these light pens. This is cool. <laughs> and then on the other side of the wall, you can actually use your entire body to make a shadow. What's the one word you would use to describe this place? Entertaining. Entertaining? Mm -hmm. What about you, Jeff? Unique. Unique? Yes. I'm going to call it just plain awesome. It has a lot of everything. Well, thank you very much. And for this place to be able to give kids the fun and the education, there's no place like it. Thank I you. appreciate that very much. Thank you for bringing us in here. It's good. Thank you. I, I do kind of want to go back and play with the, uh, with the heat. Oh, yeah, yeah. the thermal? Think, think, with, mm -hmm. think I go back one more time? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs>